my master. As always, I am your servant. You have done well. of the ancient flame haze who were entombed with me. They've paid the ultimate sacrifice for thwarting my plans. Thousands of years have passed, and yet they're still determined to stand in your way. Their devotion to the cause is impressive, to say the least. I agree. Though it may delay our journey, we must deal with them in a respectful, yet forceful manner. For I will not be denied passage! <laughs> Catalyst needed to change the world lies at the end of this pathway. Once it's mine, I can free Shauna from her fate as a flame haze. I gotta go. I don't have time to waste on these idiots. <laughs> You can go ahead and get to safety. We will join you as soon as we're finished here. As you wish, sir. Domino! What? At your service! It's time for us to get going, Professor! You can finish collecting data later! Whoa! We've just hit the mother load here, haven't we? Yeah, yeah! Now come on! We've it's got to go! important to me than the food I eat! The water I drink! Even my very existence! Shall we finish him? Shouldn't take but a minute. Watch this. Tartaros, isolate! I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. We have lost all contact with Fortress Commander Fagor. Without him, it will be next to impossible to keep the Divine Gate concealed. I suspect the enemy will soon launch a full-scale attack. I don't understand. How did the intruders so easily infiltrate the Palace of the Stars? I have to 
tell the others about the Divine Gate. Looks like Heaven's Road. <sighs> Is this the Palace of the Stars? <clears throat> it is indeed. Is it to your liking, Princess? It is understandable that you'd want to do some exploring. However, I find it worrisome that you're not accompanied by your attendants. Don't tell me you were finally successful in breaking the bonds of Tartaros. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Uvo. I am the chaotic beat of burdening drums. I sincerely hope you won't consider me a braggart for telling you that I am a powerful Crimson Lord. I've been charged with the duty of protecting the Palace of the Stars from intruders. Therefore, I have a question to ask you, Princess. Who precisely are you? Who am I? The flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter! Shauna! You're a flame -haze. In that case, there's absolutely no reason for me to hold back against you! It's quite a shame. I foresee us doing great damage to this chamber. Why are you not attacking me? Are you scared? You've only been in captivity a few days. Surely you haven't completely forgotten how to fight in that time? I don't think so. <laughs> but there's only one way to find out! <laughs> You don't sound very sure of yourself, Princess. Given the urgency of the situation, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make short work of you, my dear. <laughs> We're now deep within the palace, and we've yet to find any sort of room or cell that would be capable of holding her. Continue searching. I'm sure the Mises has her well hidden, in the hopes of protecting her from the battle raging outside. But I have no doubt we'll be able to find her. doing here inexplicable I wouldn't touch that unless you want them to know you're here specialist of everything we meet again spiral organ it has been far too long Synchronization complete. Is it me, or are they suddenly attacking more vigorously? Hmm. Now that the crypta has been destroyed, it appears they are no longer concerned with protecting the fortress from damage. Ah. With that in mind, I am torn over whether or not we should remain here. Hmm. While I think it would be foolish to disregard the mysterious object floating above us, it would be far worse to attack without first identifying it. Ah, until the specialist of everything rescues the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter. We shall keep fighting. Set wheel. Deploy Kadesh's blood seed. Activate. Deploy. Synchronizing Kadesh's blood pulse. The geezers are kicking major butt! Don't you think your time would be better spent rallying your troops, Person, the majestic lion's bellowing call? I disagree. Your friend's destructive power is quite impressive. However, I know that had you two been there, the damage would have been threefold. That is why I lured you to join me in this dance called war. Well, I'm not much of a dancer, pal, so don't get pissed off when I end up stomping on your foot! 
The old man's too big to dodge this loser's attack, so I lured him over here. At least that's what I thought I was doing. Turns out that mangy cat was the one who was baiting me. I'm always telling you to respect your elders, and when you finally do, it blows up in your face. I'll forgive you for it, as long as you'll let me blow something up in his face. Hear that, you feline freak? If you think such a threat will frighten me, you're dead wrong. For you see, I have an unrestricted spell so strong it'll knock you to your knees. I'll play you my fanfare, the last tune you'll ever hear. I don't think so! Fanfare! You're not bad. I can't believe you've made it through this fight without being hit by one of our attacks. Thanks, but flattery will get you nowhere. I must say you've surprised me, Spiral Organ. I never would have expected you to lead us through the palace, much less provide us with information. Inconceivable. What is it you want in return? Specialist of everything, all I ask is that you refrain from entering the central area of the palace which lies ahead. If you refuse, I'll have to fight you. On the behalf of Bal Maske. And I don't think either of us wants it to come to that. Indeed, we won't go any further. Know that we do not consider your cooperation with Bal Maske to be a betrayal. You are simply attempting to achieve a goal. However, should you keep me from achieving my own goal, I will exterminate you. I completely understand. I don't suppose I could persuade you to leave the palace altogether. Persuade me how? If you'll agree, I shall offer two things to you. The first of which being information. And the second... Thanks to the spiral organ, we were able to verify her safety. The flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter escaped. She was able to do so without assistance from me. Astounding. While I'm certain our attack helped create a diversion that allowed her to break free, if she had been left to her own devices, I think she would have been fine indeed. You should be proud. I am proud of what she's achieved. That said, I can't help but feel a tinge of sadness deep within my heart. Because she no longer has any reason to depend on me. I suddenly feel so useless. Snap out of it. Indeed, I shouldn't be wasting my time sulking when there are pressing issues at hand. It's better spent preparing for the moment we strike. Though I am indeed worried, I have faith in her. For now I know she's capable of fighting this battle all on her own. I thought you unworthy of the God of Atonement's contract and our master's attention. I stand corrected. You are quite worthy indeed. That was nothing. Wait and see. I'm just getting warmed up. Talk is cheap, little girl. So let's see what you can do! I haven't tapped into my full potential. I've got to find it. Or else I'll never be able to defeat him. Crypta continues to collapse. It's only a matter of time before the flame haze pinpoint the precise location of the Palace of the Stars. What am I saying? They're likely communicating with the intruders and therefore already aware of our coordinates. If that's true, I know what Sophie Savalish's next move will be. Attention! This is an emergency message. Respond regardless of present circumstance. Do you read me, commanders of the Eastern and Western forces, dashing earthly fiend Rebazal and burning agitation Haberim? This is Rebazal. I read you loud and clear. Haberim reporting. What is it, Supreme Commander? I order you to cease combat and return to the Palace of the Stars at once. I have reason to believe it will be targeted in a surprise attack by the Braider of Trembling Might and the Flame Haze Army. A surprise attack? Do you have evidence to support this conclusion? 
I will fully brief you on the matter later. It is imperative that you issue a withdrawal order to all troops immediately. Understood. Let them try their damnedest, but the flame haze will never set foot in the palace of the stars. It is surrounded by a protective barrier of unrestricted spells. We should be getting close. Yes. Captain, I'm sorry to keep asking you this, but are we all clear? Yes, ma'am. So far, so good. We've been scanning signals in the area, and we haven't encountered anything that would require a reevaluation of the operation. Now, just sit back and allow us to demonstrate how helpful your human allies can be. Oh, we're aware. The entirety of our army is dependent on the might of the human race. No need to worry. We've cast seals over every radar facility in the surrounding area. I've gone to great lengths to ensure we don't leave any trace of this operation. Guess I should check the map one last time before we go. Everything looks clear along the rendezvous route. I don't see any signs of inclement weather. Good, I'm glad to hear it, Francois. I can't thank you enough for all your help. We wouldn't have been able to conduct this operation without your knowledge of meteorology. The same can be said about the specialist of everything and the detailed coordinates that she sent us. We are incredibly fortunate to have such amazing allies. Commander Savalish, we're approximately three minutes from the drop point. Thanks for letting me know. This is it. The moment we have all been waiting for. Our turn to strike back. We have been given an opportunity to avenge our allies who were struck down. This operation depends upon us defeating the enemy before their reinforcements arrive. Our victory will not only serve as an example that future Flame Haze will strive to attain, but as a warning to any Crimson Denizens who might consider attacking us. That being said, this endeavor will never become a reality if we are unable to defeat them in the first place. <laughs> Gentlemen, we shall now commence Operation Crossing! He just won't let up, will he? This sucks. We shouldn't be wasting our time with this guy. I'm sure he feels the same way about us. True. We'll have the advantage if we can figure out where he's hiding. I found ya! Watch out, he's to your right! I should have known he was bluffing. Your reflexes are impressive, but there's no escaping. You're mine now. Damn, we're screwed. We won't make it. An enemy attack? Why are they flying so low? Where did those planes come from? Yeah, you're out of luck, pal. transported their army by air. I suspected an attack on the palace, but I didn't anticipate it being the entirety of their forces simultaneously. We must counterattack at once. Ugh, I don't like that sound. What's happening? We can't descend now!
she's here, the greater of trembling might of Sophie Savalish. The Palace of the Stars descended, shattering the protective barrier surrounding it. We now have an opening. Indeed, this is our chance to go help her. She's some kind of monster. The longer we fight, the stronger she gets. I can't keep this up much longer. Is this a joke? Am I being sacrificed to the God of Atonement? It's still not enough. I have to think back to what I was taught in the beginning. Alastor. A flame haze's power derives not only from the image of strength the contractor holds, but also from its fusion with their Crimson Lord's power. Therefore, in an effort to avoid unnecessary preconceptions, the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter is not given a specific fighting style. After questioning my relation to the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter, I finally realized that we are... one and the same! If I were to choose a symbol to represent my power as the flame haze, what would it be? I cannot allow myself to fall victim to the God of Atonement's contractor. I must do something. What symbolizes not only my strength, but who I really am? The flaming haired, blazing eyed hunter. Shauna! True Crimson! In flames! Judgment! Hoping we might run into you, my lady. What a joyous reunion. Thanks, Wilhelmina. Let's go. Yuji. After Operation Crossing's success, the Flame Haze suddenly find themselves with the advantage. In a last-ditch effort to turn the tide, Dekarabia makes an appearance on the front lines of the battlefield. Next time on Shakugan no Shana Final, Feelings Heard.